In the energy quadrant today, taking a look at the December WTI crude oil futures, which fell to a $77 handle today for the first time since August 24th. This is the second session in a little over a month that crude has dropped more than 4% in a single session. Those are big moves. Since September 28th, the swing high on September 28th, crude oil has dropped almost 18.5% in price. The high print today was $81.05, $81.05, which is almost three tenths of 1% from yesterday's settlement of 80 spot 82, $80.82. The low print today was 77.27, which was down 4.39% from yesterday's settlement price. In terms of general news circulating in the oil market, US oil refineries are now expected to cut production back from near maximum capacity in Q2 and Q3 of this year, which would be about 95% capacity utilization or refinery utilization to 90 to 91% utilization rates for the remainder of 2023. Weak gasoline crack spreads and an unexpected slowdown in diesel demand due to weaker manufacturing PMI figures are being blamed as of right now. Also, China's trade data, which was much lower than expected and lower than last month, also bolstered the fears that their internal demand will continue to slow and continue to weaken, helping to push crude oil prices down more. On top of that, Russian production is also putting greater than expected volumes into the export oil market as Russian exports are running close to a four month high. Russia said over the weekend, as this is what they confirmed over the weekend, that they would extend their 300,000 barrel a day production cut through the end of the year. But given the export data that came out, according to this, again, data according to Bloomberg, it's questionable as to whether they are doing this or not considering that they're currently exporting 3.48 million barrels a day out of their own ports.